Okay, so um, the last topic we're going to cover as far as debugging goes, because um, this is an in-depth um, course on debugging, you know, just I just wanted to give you some basic debugging skills. Um, let me go here and I'm going to turn my thread sanitizer off. And um, let's just do this right here. I'll put this... Uh, right there so um thing i'm going to talk about now is very simple um i'm going to talk about excuse me i'm going to talk about call stack and stack trace these are very simple concepts so your call stack is this you take your breakpoint you put it down somewhere you run it you hit your breakpoint this would be my call stack. The call stack is basically um stack of methods, okay? And this is the order that, that the methods run in, right here. This thread, this thread, this thread, this thread, this uh, method call, this, then this, then this, then the most recent one is view controller and... um run calculate which is right here run calculate okay so and it kind of it kind of um shows you kind of like an order of operations right so in your computer um you have a stack of methods and yeah one goes on top of the other one you know and the top the one at the top is the most recent um Often, sometimes, one that's, um, say, when you have one, you put another one on top of it, and you put another one on top of it, one off the top may be removed and then replaced by something else. So um, that's kind of like how call stacks work, okay? Um, and when you reach the bottom, your computer um, or your program has finished running, okay? When there are no more items in the stack, everything is run, then your program is finished running. Okay. Um, uh, and um, the next thing I want to talk about is your stack trace. So stack trace would be anything that's, you know, when you once your breakpoint is here, LLDB, you want to see, uh, you want to see values, right? So um, you want to see, P O um computer nums self dot computer nums right and this should return of course at this point it turn, returns zero elements because your breakpoint is just here. If I move my breakpoint down a little bit, beep, check this out. One more breakpoint down here. Now, let me go ahead and um, move it to this, oh, Jesus Christ, move it to this next one. Okay, again. So I ran that. Let's do it again. Oh, there, this is my breakpoint again right here. All right, oh, well, I'm going to just go ahead and let me see if I... Um, Okay, I'm gonna run this again. Oh, let me start all over again. Actually, I I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> so right here and right there, yeah, whatever. Replace. Okay. Now I'm here. Um. Go here. No, my call stack is not working. Mm. Mm. Jesus Christ. Okay, so for some reason, this is not working.
I'm sorry, that was muted. <laughs> right? So we're going to say PO uh, self dot uh, compute nums. This should return all of the zero elements. So I guess this is not detecting any elements in here right now. Oh, you know why? Because I set it to zero. I'm sorry. Okay, whatever. Um, that's one way where you write a value. Of course, at this point, we have zero elements. And we can also do this. We can say a uh, frame variable. Frame variable is uh, the variables within um, this method in our stack right now. What's available, okay? And this is everything that's available in this stack, okay? There's everything we have access to. Um, and of course, um, you can say a frame variable. And of course, you can access any of these properties within here. Okay. Which is, and you also get information about memory addresses right here. Okay. You know, you know, memory addresses of different methods that are in here. You dug it. So um, I'm not going to get deep into that. I'm just trying to give you a brief overview. And of course, here you have other, you know, other information that talks about this. Okay. All right. So that's a brief summary of your uh, call stack and stack trace. And so, um, yeah, on to the next.